talk about Lego. Hey guys, it's Andy here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking me along. I do appreciate it as always. Check it out. Got my brand new doubled up train slash bus station complete. What do you think? I think it's looking pretty good. I tiled it off in light gray tile. I added stairs on both sides. It didn't have those. It just had a ramp here in the middle that went down towards the back side. But I uh, got rid of that and made it go straight across on both of them. So just a walkway through there. The only thing I'm not liking is this gap up here, which I'm thinking about filling in. I have some light or not light nougat, medium nougat, masonry bricks, but I don't have the bluish green color or the lime green plate to fill that in to match that. So I'm going to have to order those from Bricklink. Speaking of Bricklink, anybody notice that Bricklink has been down all weekend? <laughs> they may be up now, I don't know, but I haven't checked it in a little bit, but I was going to order some stuff yesterday and it was down for, for some reason. So, But yeah, check it out, guys. Brand new train slash bus station. Looking pretty good. I like it. Something else I'm super excited about. Check this out, guys. Got my train ballasting, my railroad track ballasting completed on these curves, finally. Well, it's not fully completed because if you can see there, I'm missing my ties, my one-by-ones on the inner side there, and then on the outer side here because I ran out of uh, reddish-brown one-by-one tiles, except for I just got an order in today, so I can finish it now. But yeah, it's looking pretty darn good. And as you saw from the intro, the train runs on it quite well as well. Pretty exciting stuff right there. Now the only thing left to be ballasted and mills plated is this switch right here. I got the other switch done, but this is the only one left. It is very part and very time intensive. <laughs> I will tell you that. So I've got to uh, I've got to get that done sooner than later. But there's so many things to do here in the Lego room. I was thinking about adding this guy to the Winter Village holiday display, this snow groomer here, because I figured there's no other place I can possibly put it in the city because I don't have any snow. <laughs> so possibly uh, add that to the winter display. Does that say snow cannon? <laughs> wow. Okay. And speaking of the Winter Village, my new Alpine Lodge should be arriving today, according to UPS. So we'll have that. And I really need to get started on these because there's quite a few sets to build. And I'd like to have this done, you know, done and displayed by no later than Thanksgiving this year. So got a couple of weeks and that's it. I probably should get building, eh? But at the same time, I also want to build another modular building. I want to build the Boutique Hotel, and I also want to start on my uh, tree park area, either here or down here. So it's like, man, I want to do so many things at one time. <laughs> but got to take it one step at a time, one project at a time, right? <laughs> Also got this little bus right here, or I guess it's not really little, but this big bus that came with the train station. I've actually got two of them now, so I'm thinking about building the other one and putting it in the city somewhere so we can have two buses running around. This uh, truck over here also came with the train set. This maintenance truck pulling the porta potty with the bucket truck on the back. I don't know if I'll build the other one of those because I don't know where, where I would put it or, you know, where I would use it at in the city, because I already got one on the tracks there. You definitely use another bus. You can always have plenty of buses in your city, right? <laughs> the Brickhead Shelf is officially full, guys. Check it out. We added Daisy Duck, Goofy, and Pluto to the lineup here, and that fills in the three spaces that we had left. So I might slack off on building some brick heads for right now until I get more, get more risers and get more shelf here on the space. But I'll show you what we have left. Got all those right there. And all these up here. <laughs> it's still left to build. 
in terms of brickheads. So probably, I'd probably say I probably have just as many left to do as, as, as what's up there right now, if not maybe a little bit less. I wanted to say congratulations once again to Smart Ninja 0 for winning our giveaway contest. He did contact me, and we got his information, and we're going to send off his prizes probably today or tomorrow. So congratulations, and you guys that didn't win, look out for more contests that are coming up soon. Uh, definitely want to do one for the 500 subscriber celebration and possibly even before then, maybe for 400 subscri subscribers. I don't know. I just haven't decided yet, but keep your eyes open, keep listening, keep watching, and we will do another giveaway contest. So thank you for everybody that commented and entered in. I do appreciate that. And we had some fun with it. So we'll definitely do it again. And I think that's going to wrap things up for us today. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for taking me along. I do appreciate that. And look out for some more exciting stuff coming up in future videos. Stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.